Hi, so we're all done here with the uh, cherry wine fermenting. So it's in the tank here and we have to transfer it from this tank over to this vat here. And uh, there's a lot of gunk on the bottom, the dead yeast that we got to get out. So we just take the juice or the wine off the top of the, of the liquid and leave all the junk on the bottom. So we put it into this vat over here. And before we do that, or while we're doing that, we add a little bit of sulfites. Now sulfites cause, there's a lot of bad rap about sulfites and all that. It's an important part of wine making because it keeps the wine stable for a lot longer times. So we've done wine without sulfites, but it's always a risk if we get a bacterial infection or something's not clean, then all your wine will go bad or something like that. It can also, uh, the sulfites also kill any yeast that's left in the, in the wine. Otherwise, if you have yeast still alive, then uh, you could have the bottles blowing off in a, in a couple of months because it still ferments in there. So if you have uh, problems with what you think is sulfites and red wines and wines in general give you a headache, you could have a sulfite allergy, but typically it's caused by other things like tannins in the wine, uh, antihistamines, and that sort of thing. The, you cannot have a, uh, like a wine without sulfites because the yeast actually produce sulfites themselves. So we're putting in a very, very low amount. Dried fruit can have up to 2,000 parts per million of sulfites. We put in around 25, 30. So it's very, very low. So if you can have dried apricots and not get a headache, then you don't have a problem with sulfites. So we're gonna start this. We're just gonna pour this into, into the vat here. Turn on my pump. So it's sucking from the top here. And what we want to do is we want to we want to actually splash. Make sure it splashes around because there's lots of carbon dioxide that the wine has produced, or the yeast has produced, and this will get the carbon dioxide out and it will actually take a lot less time for it to age properly. Young wines taste good, but they have a lot of carbon dioxide in and then so they don't really taste good. So once this is all done, we have it sit here for about two to three months, and then we are ready to pop. So we'll see you in two to three months.